Howdy. Welcome to Quick Hits. I'm Brandon Perna and holy heck, Bill O'Brien beat out Adam Gase to become the first NFL head coach fired during the 2020 football season. And this is how I imagine Texans fans reacting today. Now, the Texans announced today, effective immediately, as opposed to effective at a later time, that Bill O'Brien has been fired, can, nixed. Probably twice, actually. Once as a GM and once as a head coach. Which was quite the ordeal, as they had to have two separate meetings for each firing. There was a whole bunch of HR paperwork, and it was a hassle for everyone involved. Let's be honest, Bill O'Brien deserves to be fired twice. That's how baffling his GM slash head coaching has been in Houston. But do you ask the GM Bill O'Brien to fire Bill O'Brien the head coach first? Bill, we're gonna need you to fire Bill. But I don't wanna fire Bill, I like but too bad you gotta fire Bill, Bill. But Bill likes not to fire Bill. I don't even know how they fucking finished this firing process. Very complicated. And actually I'll go a step further and say that not only does he deserve to be fired twice for the shit job he's done in each of his roles? But the firings should have been dragged out to make him squirm. Fire him as a head coach today, then say, you're a full-time GM now, Bill. Encourage him to make some big purchases. Wait a week and then fire him there too. We all know about the DeAndre Hopkins trade, the war crime that was and continues to be, the lack of help he's gotten for Deshaun Watson, and the fact that the team has only had one first round pick in the last three drafts. And they won't have one next year. That all said, I think Bill O'Brien's a decent head coach. He just should have never been given GM powers. He's the kind of guy you should never give more power to than absolutely necessary. Minimal power guy and he can succeed. I know, I'm one of those. Now, this news came just a few hours after uh, Bill O'Brien stated that he would be taking over the play calling duties for the offense. You know, essentially giving him three jobs to do poorly. It looks like the 73-year-old Romeo Cornell will take over as interim head coach, another Belichick disciple that failed as a head coach without the right Bill leading. The good news for Texans fans is that you should draw a lot of attention from the top coaching candidates to come and work with Deshaun Watson. Assuming those head coaches don't care about not having any draft picks because you gave them all to the Dolphins for almost nothing. My top contender for Texans head coach, Eric Bieniemy. Maybe he gets his first gig, gig as the top dog. In my opinion, he would be a match made in heaven for Deshaun Watson. Watson is leaving hell, so any coach will have a heavenly vibe. Plus, Eric might overlook the lack of foresight and direction of the organization since he himself has been overlooked so many times during the head coaching hiring window. Speaking of Kansas City, as a coach, O'Brien probably should have just been left at the airport in Kansas City after blowing a 24-point lead in the divisional round in roughly 10 minutes. Now, he refuses to put his quarterback in a good situation, and even with the Hopkins trade, has squandered a roster that has far more talent than their 0-4 record would indicate. Outside of maybe the offensive line. The NFL Network reported that O'Brien and Jack Easterby, Houston's executive vice president of football operations, did not see eye to eye recently, leading to O'Brien's firing. Ah, uh, no shit. Nobody sees eye to eye with Bill O'Brien. Not even Bill O'Brien when he looks in the mirror. But that's because he sees eye to eye to chick. Now the only thing I will say is that Bill O'Brien did not deserve to be fired before Adam Gase. I'm not sure there's anyone that deserves to lose their job more than Adam Gase. And that's as big of a compliment as Bill O'Brien will probably get this week from anyone. Gase lost to a winless team at home and kept his job. Bill O'Brien did the same thing and got fired a day later. Now, Bill O'Brien is leaving Houston with a winning coaching record. Again, I said, I think he's a decent coach, 52 and 48, but you won't ever see a winning coach more gladly ushered out of an organization than Bill. Both Patrick Mahomes and Deshaun Watson received massive contracts this offseason, and people have been applauding Mahomes for also winning at life. 
locking down an engagement, impregnating his fiance, even though that's a deed only sinners do, but Watson has just won as well. This is the kind of divorce that will be extremely healthy for one of the best but most poorly protected QBs in the NFL. You are safe now, Deshaun, and this will be better for everyone in the end. Just like when Demi Moore and Bruce Willis called it quits. Except you're both Demi and Bruce, and Bill is the divorce papers, hopefully to be filed away and never seen again. Diggity do, Bill O'Brien's gone! Boom! Thanks for watching That's Good Sports Emergency Bill O'Brien episode. Make sure you check out the best and worst of NFL Week 4. I just uploaded that. Thought I was done for the day. Had to get this video up. But the best and worst is really my best video every week. So make sure you click it.